Well, as we approach Memorial Day, one local family is finally able to honor their lost veteran. And as Scott Steele shows us, it's a goodbye more than six decades in the making. How long can one live with a broken heart? How many nights of unsettled sleep, weeks of anger, months of frustration, years of uncertainty? Waukesha's Condon family has an answer. 64 years. We pray for eternal rest also upon airmen comes home. That's how long it's been since a C-124 Globemaster Air Force plane went down en route to Alaska, carrying 19-year-old Airman 2nd Class Thomas Condon and 51 other souls serving during the Korean War. Renewed recovery efforts intensified over the last few years, recently identifying this young man's remains, bringing relief to his brother, sister, and other loved ones. For Thomas Condon is now home. God bless America. It's a day of celebration, really, because we waited so long for this. Now you really know the story. So that's about all I can tell you. We, we really know the story, and you couldn't ask for a better ending than this. Great. And so today, final respects. Present. Remains laid to rest. Years removed, but only minutes away from where a cheerful boy played at his grandparents' farm, from where a teenager once accepted his high school diploma, from where a young man dreamed of Air Force adventures ahead. It's sad. It's sad, but we got him back. It's so much. It's so much. That means so much. Just to get him back. The military has a motto never leave a man behind. Today, it proved more than words. Actions putting one family at ease at last. In Waukesha, Scott Steele, today's TMJ4. Nice story, Scott. Yeah, very good tribute. Wow. Well, why?